let's talk about 10 different ways that you can get realtors to show up at live events. Making the decision to host a live event is probably really the toughest part of everything, right? Is making the decision. Usually that's the thing that takes people the longest. But once you decide that you're gonna host a live event, you know, obviously you have to figure out what you're gonna teach and that's kind of for a different video. But then you have to figure out how you're gonna actually get people to show up. And so let's talk about 10 different ways that you can get realtors to show up at live events. What's cool is like eight or nine of these ideas are completely for free and only one or two of them actually have a cost. All right, so if you're getting value from this, make sure you let me know in the comments so I'm feeling incentivized to keep coming back here and bringing you great content. All right, so number one, you can make organic posts. All right, you have some level of following on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, LinkedIn, YouTube, Twitter, wherever you have a following, you can make organic free posts on your personal profile. If you're on Facebook, you can make posts on your business page. You can even make a free, uh, you can make a Facebook event on your business page and you can be able to promote that Facebook event, right? So making free posts on Facebook, that's the number one way that you're gonna get people to show up. Number two is you can run paid ads. So if you make a Facebook event on your business page, you can run the event as an ad on Facebook. Or you can just run a video talking about the event, however it is that you wanna get people to register, whether you're using a Facebook event or you're using Eventbrite or anything like that, however you're getting people to register, you can run a paid ad just to realtors in your market and get them to show up that way. All right, number three is you can get sponsors for your events. Uh, think about people that could be potential sponsors, right? Um, roofing company, home inspector, insurance company, um, title company, a um, lot of different options, right? A real estate photographer or videographer. Um, there's other people that could be potential sponsors for your, your event. If somebody's gonna be a sponsor, make part of the sponsorship requirement that they talk about the event on social media, right? And that they invite people or they get a certain number of people to show up or to RSVP. Make that part of the deal with sponsoring your event. Okay, so that's number three is sponsors. Number four, you have friends, you have a network of people that are around you that are other uh, ancillary service providers in the industry, you know, in related to mortgage and real estate. So we can get our friends to talk about it. If you have an insurance agent friends that has a big network of realtors, have them talk about your class and tell people that it would be valuable to go, right? Um, look around in, in your own network um, or realtors that you do business with that are influential realtors in the marketplace. By having them talk about the class, it feels safe. Other realtors might wanna come just because they know that influential person is gonna be there and they get a chance to meet them. So having your friends talk about the class, number four, way that you can get people to show up. Um, number five is the host or the organizer can talk about the event. So depending on where you're doing your class, if you're doing it at a title company, you can have them talk about the class and promote for you. If you're doing it at a real estate office, have the broker in charge or the office manager, have them promote the class for you. So having the host or the organizer promote your event is gonna make it feel more like you're a special guest speaker versus you promoting your own event, right? We wanna let people know, if, if, especially if you're going into a real estate office or something like that, we wanna let them know that you were invited in there and that you're a special guest, right? Um, okay, number six, is you can send out emails. You you have a CRM and you have a database of real estate agents that you work with. So you could be sending emails and inviting them that way. You could do the same thing with text messages um, or also with Facebook messages. Um, so that's kind of number seven, you know, texts. But I realize I don't have Facebook messages on my list. And so that should be on there as well, right? So maybe that's like the bonus. But you want to be sending out personal invitations. 
Personal video invitations is the thing that we found to have the most impact on getting people to show up is either personal phone calls or personal invitations like video message where it has their name in the video. That's the kind of thing that's going to really help you to get people to show up. Number eight, phone calls. Again, I brought up that a lot of people on Mondays, people are loan officers are already used to abusing realtors on Mondays and cold calling and doing all the things that we used to hate as a kid when people would call our house um, un uninvited. And so if you're calling realtors, instead of using that old tired script that, you know, Grandpa Rick taught us a hundred years ago, what if we instead, we come with an offer to realtors to help them with their business, right? So most loan officers have an ask, hey, what happened this weekend? Anybody I need to talk to, any turndowns? So instead, switch up your script and go, hey, I'm teaching a class next week and I'm gonna show you X, Y, Z. Is that something you care about or you don't, you don't care about that, right? And now you can invite them to your class. Those personal phone calls, those personal video messages, these are the things that are gonna impact the most, all right? Number nine, you could send handwritten note cards. Now, most likely, you could do that for an invitation. I think this is probably better used for after the class um, as a follow-up method, but you could certainly send out handwritten notes to, you know, if you have a top 20 hit list or something like that of realtors you really wanna work with, and maybe you just have that extra layer of invitation to get them to, get them to show up, all right? Number 10, last one for right now is you could, um, make flyers or some type of physical postcard or you know some type of physical drop-off that you can bring by people's offices or put them in common areas where realtors are already hanging out and and you can have some type of physical flyer right and like I said sort of my number seven add-on or bonus number 11 is Facebook messages specifically video messages where I'm like hey what's up John hey man I'm doing a class next week I'm gonna show you how to sell more houses using Facebook ads. I'm gonna show you my number one ad template that I use to generate leads for $1.50 on Facebook. If you're interested in that, I'll shoot you, let me know. I'll shoot you the invitation with all the information so you can you know, join us uh, with the you know, address and all that. Uh, or if you don't care about it, hey, no sweat. Just wanted to make sure you were invited. All right, so that type of personal video message or personal phone call are gonna be the things that's gonna impact you the most of what you can do. And then having other people talk about your class is what's gonna always make sure that you have realtors that don't know you show up, right? Because if you're doing a class, we wanna have new blood there all the time. So if you can get five or 10 people to show up and then other people within your network or your sponsors or your friends can help you get another five or 10 people to show up, you have the ability to add a couple referral partners every single month through this class process. So just wanted to share the 10 ways that you can pack a room, right? What's great, again, almost all those are for free. Maybe the flyers have a couple dollars spend, the, po the note cards have a couple dollars spend. If you're running the Facebook ads, you're probably around five to $10 a day um, on running the Facebook ad, but otherwise you can fill a room for free. So if money is a challenge right now, no worries, you can, you can do this on the free side, but just wanted to bring you some of those ideas since we talked before about running an event and what's the type of event or what can you do to you know, partner with somebody else who's smart on a subject that realtors care about. Or of course you can run your own class, right? And bring your own topic to the table, but wanted to give you also the ideas on how to fill the room. So, you know, in case that's a, in case that's a struggle. So appreciate you for being here. If you're on the live again, drop me a hashtag live and thank you so much for being here. If you're on the replay, Drop me a hashtag replay, and we'll see you on the next one. Later.